Hey guys, it's K7. Happy upcoming New Year's. I may be away for a while, but there will still be some upcoming videos that will pre-upload it ahead. So there's some videos that you'll be getting in advance. So I'm just letting you know that if you start to wonder where I am. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play online using the Citra emulator Canary Builds. Now this is pretty simple and very easy and I'm going to show you how. Just sit back and relax and stay tuned. Before we start, keep in mind that you will not have the best experience if you don't have a computer with at least decent specs, 8GB of RAM, at least a 4 core CPU, an i5 or an i7 preferably, and you set the proper settings to get the best experience as well. I created a video just before this one, I think it was two videos back, it's showing you the update to this particular build. You can download that user folder that I left for you guys there and it will make it easier for you to play. You'll be able to play a little smoother even if you have a very slow computer. Okay, let's get started. So in order to play online with your friends and play online with others, you will need the Citra Emulator Canary Build. You can get that by going to the Citra Emulator website. Once you head over to the Citra Emulator website, you can download the Citra Emulator. In order to use the Citra Emulator, you will need Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable 2015. Without this, you will not be able to run or play your Citra Emulator. Keep this in mind before downloading or when downloading. All the links that you need for downloading will be left in the description below. Let's continue. Once you have the Citra emulator, you then want to install it. Once you install it, place it somewhere where you can find it, like the desktop or documents. Any place is fine, just put it someplace where you're going to be able to find it. Afterwards, open the Citra emulator folder and open the canary build. After you do that, you will see that there are a few files, but you're missing a user folder. You can download a user folder down in the links in the description of which I've left for you. If you don't have one, if you already have one, and you want to use your own, then that's fine too. But the easiest way, if you're already using the Citra emulator nightly builds, you can just take the user folder from there and copy it into the Citra emulator canary build and that's the easiest way to do it also. But once again, there is a link down in the description in order to download a user folder that I've already set up for you. You're welcome. Once you've done this, you want to start up your Citra emulator by clicking on the Citra QT shortcut. Once you open up the Citra emulator canary build, you want to hit emulation, configure, and then head over to the web tab. Here, this will allow you to play online and play on the web. You will need to sign up and you will also need a token in order to play online as well. These are easy to get. The only thing you have to do is click the sign up button as your first step. After you finish setting up and signing up for the GitHub website, the only thing you have to do is click what's my token. Afterwards, it will take you to the website where you can collect your token. But there is no need for this website, for I have already left the link down in the description. Just click the link that says get my token and you will be taken to the website where you can receive your token. The only thing you will have to do is copy and paste your token within the token window and also the username that you set up 
for your Citra Emulator Online account. Once you've signed into your account, you will need to verify it. So make sure you type in the correct email. They will send you a verification notification in order to verify your account. Once you've done so, then you're good. After you've collected your token and signed in and verified your account and entered your username, then you can enter your token. Once you've done so and collected your token, you can then click verify. Once you click verify, this will verify your account. Two check marks will appear at the end of the token and your username, letting you know that you're a OK. Click OK and then you're done. Now, the only thing you'll have to do is run Animals Ultra Sun or Animals Ultra Moon. For this example, I'll be using Animals Ultra Sun. So just start up your game but just start whatever you may have. Once you've started your game, head over to the Festival Plaza. Once you're here, if you try to go online from here, it won't work. So in order to get this to work, you will need to click on multiplayer and then choose browse public lobby. Once you open the lobby, you will need to create a username. It doesn't matter what you use. As you can see, I'm using my username kind of seven but you can use anything that you'd like and then the only thing you have to do after that is go into a lobby after you find a lobby hit battle and then single battle once again or whatever format you want and then as you can see there you go all you have to do is submit a battle request and if that person him or her would like to battle and then there you go you're online battling with animals ultra sun or ultra moon well anyways guys i hope this tutorial was helpful to you also if it was make sure to leave a like it helps out the channel a lot and i would really appreciate it thank you in advance also if you have any questions leave your thoughts down below I'd like to know what you guys think of this new Citra Emulator Online feature with the Canary Bills. So leave those comments below. Also make sure to share and subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace, take care, and Happy New Year's once again. Have fun playing online and sharing adventurous battles with others on Citra. Peace guys, later. Hey guys, it's me, K7. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and hit the notification bell for more videos like these. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. Later.